In this video, we explain what the VIX is, how it works, whether or not it can be useful for traders, and we end the article by backtesting four specific VIX trading strategies with complete trading rules and results. Each strategy is better than the previous, so make sure you stick to the end. The study of finance is, in practice, a study of how people behave with money. This means greed and fear are some of the main determinants, at least in the short run. How do we measure greed and fear? The VIX indicator is an excellent tool for measuring greed and fear. But what exactly is the VIX index? VIX is called the fear index because it measures the implied volatility of the option premiums on the S&P 500. The higher the option premium, the more fear in the market. When the uncertainty is high, the higher the implied volatility and VIX values. The VIX index is listed with the ticker symbol VIX and is calculated in real time. Let's show you a graphic daily display of the VIX index. As you can see, VIX goes from overbought to oversold conditions. High readings, which signals fear, is often short-lived. But VIX tends to rise quickly, but drop slowly. What's a good reading of the VIX index? The VIX and the stock market are inversely related. When the VIX rises, the stock market normally heads south. A low reading means the market is complacent and could be a signal that the market participants are being too bullish and we're ripe for a negative surprise. Opposite, a high reading might suggest the fear is too high and a rise in the stock market is imminent. However, there's no definite answer of what a good VIX rating is, because you need to do some quantified tests to establish what has historically worked and not worked. Let's go on to backtest the first strategy based on the VIX indicator. What is the daily return of the S&P 500 when the VIX is above and under its 20-day moving average? When the VIX is above its 20-day moving average, the average daily return in the S&P 500 from close until tomorrow's close is 0.05%. The chart shows the equity curve of the strategy. When the VIX is under its 20-day moving average, the daily return in the S&P 500 drops to 0.03%. Thus, the return is significantly higher when the risk premium increases. We discover the same pattern on weekly bars. If the VIX pattern is above its 10-week average, the weekly return in the S&P 500 has been 0.25%. If the VIX has been under its 10-week average, the weekly return in the S&P 500 drops to 0.1%. The conclusion is that we can expect higher future returns when VIX is rising. Let's backtest a strategy that's combing VIX and Bollinger Bands to trade S&P 500. We make the following trading rules. Let's buy the S&P 500 if the VIX breaks above its 10-day upper band two standard deviations away from the moving average. Exit when today's close is higher than yesterday's high. The strategy makes 0.45% per trade, which translates into 4.6% annual returns. The equity rises steadily most of the time. The return is below buy and holds 7.6% annual returns, but the strategy is invested only 13% of the time. Max drawdown for the strategy is only 22% compared to 55% for S&P 500. Let's jump to our third VIX strategy, which is a breakout strategy. The trading rules read like this. Buy when VIX sets a new 20-day high and the 5-day RSI must be over 65. Exit when today's close is higher than yesterday's high. We coded the strategy in AmaBroker and got the following equity curve. The strategy is better than the last one and it makes 0.55% per trade, which translates into 4.8% annual returns. The return is below buy and holds 7.6% annual returns, but the strategy is invested only 12% of the time. Max drawdown for the strategy is only 22% compared to 55% for S&P 500. Let's backtest the fourth and last VIX strategy. This strategy is the best to trade VIX, and it's what we like to call an overnight strategy because it holds the position only 24 hours. We buy S&P 500 at the close, and we sell at the close the next trading day. The equity curve looks like this. Since the year 2000, it's generated 577 trades with an average of 0.28%. We would argue this is pretty good for owning S&P 500 for only 24 hours. Actually, the strategy is beaten by and hold with a wide margin despite being invested less than 10% of the time. 
How good the strategy is can be shown by 69% risk-adjusted returns, which we calculate by dividing the annual returns by the exposure or time spent in the market. What is the trading rules of the strategy? The trading strategy consists of three simple variables, and we developed the strategy many years ago. However, because the strategy is so good, we only reveal the trading rules for our gold members. In conclusion, the VIX indicator can be a powerful tool to help you identify potential trading entries in the stock market. We've explained how you can use the VIX indicator, and in the long run, it pays off to buy when there's fear in the market. Or as Nathan Rothschild once said, the time to buy is when there's blood in the streets. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on future videos. Good luck and good trading.